It all began with this video from comedian CY International shared on a Nigerian blog. Numerous reactions from Nigerians who labeled this a xenophobic statement. Then Stanley Eno got involved in the conversation which inspired numerous reactions from other personalities in the 237 entertainment scene. Hi guys and welcome to another edition of Celebrity Updates. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. In case you haven't gotten the chance to watch this video, a quick summary. CY International is saying we need less Nigerian, more Cameroonian in Cameroon. He applauded bloggers for ignoring Nigerian musician Joe Boy who was recently in Cameroon. Then going on to urge bloggers and the public to do same for other Nigerian musicians who will come to Cameroon in the future. And when his words caught lots of attention, many demanding he apologize, he had this response. My Nigerian brothers and sisters, to prove to you that my recent video trending in your country has nothing to do with hate and xenophobia, you reported it to Instagram and Facebook but they didn't turn it down. Listen, that was just an expression from an angry citizen and fan of his country's culture, okay? Check your history, even your ex-president Obasanjon did same, that's why you are where you are today in music, okay? So I don't owe you any apology as your bigger celebrities keep sending me inbox to apologize sorry I won't I love Niger so much because I have them and children living under me so Nigerian music in Cameroon as from today 2nd January 2021 should be played 5% and Nigerian artists don't enter Cameroon until you invite our own artists to come chop Naira to ancestor old Pancho CY International responding to his statements we have other Cameroonians making statements like we are not in a communist system where you force people to consume anything in front of them as proof of being patriotic and no go explain me again this other person going on to say seriously in the club yesterday i enjoyed myself and even the dj did enjoy himself too i saw the security guard and toilet cleaners including the club service ladies killing themselves with much joy and happiness when the DJ played us Niger songs, oh god, I just can't do without them. The music them sweet very badly. As I'm talking to you now, I'm listening to Enjoy by Techno. Then shortly after that, this video of Stanley Eno addressing Cameroonian DJs went viral. For our street lamb ever, you're one of the biggest icons in urban music in Cameroon. Street lamb ever, I respect you, I love you. Jean-Yves, I love you. DJ René, I love you. DJ really, I love you, but please stop playing Nigerian music and parties for hours and hours and hours. You gotta stop fucking doing that, you know what I mean? Stop fucking doing that, thank you so much. Peace. which then urged statements like this from our award-winning Cameroonian actor, Alene Menget, who had this to say, Stanley Eno had the power to transform Cameroon's new generation music to world class with an international recognition. But when he recruited his brother from SA as manager, and I told them to avoid the Malivanivi mistake, STV meeting, they insulted me instead. That's when the failure started. If they heard me, Stanley could own all the big buildings in Aqua. They would have owned all talent in Cameroon, even Salatiel, Salah, Fab Colo was the transformation greed that same time that same time don jazzy did it in nigeria with collabos that he refused hashtag lamplight moves with a crowd that's the other two reactions we thought to share are those from artist manager Jules Nya and zamani blog first Jules Nya statement which was shared by blogger valeria Atia. so it goes like this my take on this whole foreign music invasion Jusnia explains it better this issue is trending simply because the government has failed woefully to protect us from the big wolves other powerful invading cultures if we had a responsible government in the first place artists and local entrepreneurs would not have to carry that fight what do the laws say about local content consumption why are they not implemented why are our bothers that porous this is what happens when we live in a jungle the People are forced to take the laws in their hands. Let's instead try and edify the public 
on this issue that misinformed them my two cents Josnia. then the zamani blog had this point of view so they say nigeria is not our problem 2021 and some cameroonians still portray and display a lot of foolishness for some time now there has been an online heated debate on whether we should ban foreign music or not many artists in cameroon who also do nigeria music are asking the djs to limit the way they play nigeria music if they ban nigeria music they might end up banning some of your favorite artists too now before you go ahead to speed hate and foolishness online answer the following questions how many cameroonian club songs do you know that were released between 2018 to 2021 can you list 50 will you want cameroonian music to be banned in nigeria ghana and sa you don't want collab between cameroonians and foreign artists where will the music be played if they ban foreign artists from coming in will the paycheck of Cameroonian artists increase? Have you ever seen Jovi, Richard Bona, Ben Deka, Charlotte Dibanda, etc., and all those who do typically Cameroonian music? complain or come out publicly to tell people or DJs to stop playing foreign music. Some of the comedians complaining don't even own up to 20 comedy skits. Law. The traps we said will catch us one day. Just because our own urban music is not yet making waves in other countries doesn't mean we should ban those whom Diaz is making waves here. Nigeria didn't get here in a day. They took time, hard work and techniques. Every day we are the first to share content from foreign blogs, TVs, etc when they talk about us we feel happy seeing that yet we get so offended when bloggers here do for dias we are the first to share club videos from dubai or videos from nigeria celebrities who enjoy any of our songs we are happy especially when they give us support like during the kumba massacre many nigerian celebrities posted it and we felt better and loved nigerian music won't be banned and they are not the reason why we are here this is the 21st century guys grow up nigerian music is not important via the seaport where we can place an embargo on it we are in a digital era and people will stream the music that they love master kg has 300 million views on jerusalem and do you know how much is that they did not come here to collect that but cameroonians view it on youtube when you are aware of your competition and how tough they are if you can't improve then stop complaining lazy men quarrel with their toes if every cameroonian could be as hardworking as jovi dropping albums, EPs, and singles, which are Cameroonian music, we for don't dominate scenes. You all drop Nigerian music and still ask people to stop enjoying Nigerian music. Law. This 2021, dear artists, do Cameroonian music, Jovi, Tina, Richard Bona, Late Manu Dibango, Ben Deka, do Cameroonian music. Jovi, after more than four albums and five EPs, does not even complain. He knows how tough the competition is, so he works more. Most of our artists do Nigerian music, yet want DJs to stop playing Niger music. If you artists enjoy it, what more of the population? Let's get back to Marco Sanjang, Bikusi, Ben Skin, etc. That's Cameroonian music. Diamond does Tanzania music and it's selling. Fali does Congolese music and it's selling. Masakeji does South African music and it's selling. Cameroonian music will sell same way it did in the 80s. You all just lazy. Promote your music well. Many of you don't invest in your music, you just want to rip. After dropping a song, you do nothing to promote it, yet blame Nigerians. No home company will pay you 20 million if you can pull a crowd of 5,000. You all just have to work, work really hard, produce and drop more Cameroonian songs, modernize everything and make the youth able to vibe to its consistency. Don't feed the fan with promises but content. Don't drop three music a year and expect the masses to stay and hope you do more. Put in the work. Drop enough music. On several occasions, Jovi urged people to work really hard and drop albums and EPs. He also asked artists to do Cameroonian music. No one listened and we are here crying. The problem is not Nigerians. So those are the points of views. What do you guys think? Personally, like I said in the first video, when I reacted to CY International, although many of you guys in the comment section didn't agree with me, but I will still stand by my point of view. If you say today you don't want Nigerian music to be played in Cameroon, are you okay with 
Cameroonian music not being played in Nigeria? If you're saying you don't want to receive Nigerian artists when they do come to Cameroon, are you saying we should all stick to our countries? Do you remember that Nigeria has the largest population in Africa and most of the time African music is being consumed by Africans? So if you're saying the country with the largest population, you want nothing to do with them musically, are you saying we as Cameroonians, we are able to survive artistically just by ourselves? Let us know in the comments below. Let's talk about this. Like um, Zamani Block said, every time a, a foreign blog posts Cameroonian celebrities, you see them quickly sharing it on their page because they are excited about it. Then you don't want Cameroonian bloggers to talk about Nigerians. I remember somebody commenting that if you talk about Nigerians again, we are going to unsubscribe to your channel. But if a Nigerian channel talks about a Cameroonian, you see Cameroonians hyping and rejoicing and say, yeah, 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 talking about our, our own. And I'm like, what? what what double standards are those um chakara tv we are going towards africa true our content is majorly cameroon but we are tackling sierra leone we are tackling nigeria we are tackling kenya we're tackling ghana we are tackling south africa we are tackling south africa because we have a pan-african vision so you can join us for the ride or well you're free to make your decision. Thanks for watching that video. Hope it inspired you to want to commit to Chakara TV. You want more content from us. No worries. We got you covered. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, then sit back, relax, and enjoy daily content from us. It's been Eta on Chakara TV. We are craziness with a strategy.